Good morning, my friends. It is Tuesday, September 8th, and I am leaving my Airbnb this morning, but I'm still here in this funky little uh, place without any pets though, or icons, but I do have this card of my icon of St. Francis, which is a beautiful card and you can actually get it in the bookstore if you'd like one or many. Today we continue in the book of Job and he begins his final discourse, his final big poem. And he begins by remembering how good things were before. You see, part of Job's suffering is the fact that he knew what it was like when things were good. So when he loses it all, he suffers so much, not just because of his physical wounds, but because of the memories he's grieving. He says, when the friendship of God was upon my tent, when the Almighty was still with me, when my children were all around me, he's remembering. In this time of pandemic, I don't know about you, but I feel drawn not just to my own past, but to history. I remember all the good times I remember so much worshiping in our cathedral when our choir sang and the place was just full and the sound of the singing of everyone is something that I really miss. I also miss um, looking out at all your faces and seeing all of you after a decade uh, as your priest, I know so many of you and. Uh, I miss being with you. I miss having dinners at friends' homes and giving people hugs. And I know that it's the same for you. Part of the pain of this pandemic is not only the isolation of the present moment, but the memories of the past when we had so much. When, like Job said, my children were all around me. My children were all around me. And I could say my congregation was all around me. <laughs> I'm such a mother hen. <laughs> but this kind of pain comes from a place of joy. We wouldn't know this absence if we hadn't had the joy in the first place. And in a strange way, this, this hurting, this yearning, this poignancy uh, only makes the presence of others richer, more valued. Because as I remember, and as you remember, I don't know about you, but I think I took a lot of it for granted. I didn't appreciate the beauty of worshiping in big numbers. I didn't appreciate the joy of getting so many hugs in one morning. I didn't know what I had. And now I know. So in this very odd way, the absence of the good increases our appreciation for the good. And would we really know its value if it never left us? Such as it is with suffering, that's not fun, but it's a great teacher, isn't it? We're learning. We're learning to appreciate each other, aren't we? I wish there were an easier way to do it. But I'm grateful. I'm grateful for the lesson. Because one day, we will see each other again. And this time, I'm going to appreciate it. <laughs> Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for a new day and a new lesson in the book of Job. We thank you for his beautiful poetry, the poetry of the word of God, which is so deep and rich and has so many perspectives. We ask you to bless us this day and help us to walk in the footsteps of Christ. 
Help us to treat one another with kindness and care. Help us to be cautious in the midst of this virus. As people return to school and work today, help us to be mindful and careful. Bless those who are sick. Bless the dying. Bless those who have no work or who are stuck alone in their homes. Give us all a reverence for one another, for this earth that you have given us, and for the precious gift of life itself. Help us to find a vaccine, Lord, to bring an end to this pandemic, that we may return to one another with greater love and appreciation for the gift of each other. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.